What's going on, Leo? My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Leo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you right now. There's some sort of energy block, most likely a love block preventing from some sort of new opportunity coming into your life. And this is happening because there is some sort of energy of comparison or judgment stemming from a previous timeline. So right now, love wants to enter your life. You are meant to be with someone, a kindred spirit or soulmate, but you're having a hard time manifesting this because in the present moment, the present is actually turning into the past because you're thinking of something in the past. So for example, you dated someone, it did not go so well. Now you're telling yourself, oh my goodness, the next person I date is not going to treat me well. Or you're currently in a relationship telling yourself, oh man, I didn't sign up for this. But understand that in order to change this energy and clear this energy and allow the universe to do its job, which is help and guide you, all you have to do is focus on the solution and not the problem. Solution every single time. It takes the same energy to focus on the solution than it does the problem. It's like it takes the same energy to stand on, the, stand on the side of the street that's sunny then stand on the side of the street that's raining. It's the same energy, right? So right now, Source is telling you focus on the solution. I'll give you an example, right? Maybe right now you're waiting to meet your soulmate. It hasn't happened yet. What do you do? Focus on the problem? No, because if that strategy worked and it doesn't, then you would have had your soulmate by now. Like for example, law of attraction, law of assumption, peer-reviewed science, and also quantum physics has proven that because of this point of attraction universe, you cannot focus on something you don't have. It does not work. It never has, never will. You cannot bend this law. What do you have to do? Focus on the solution. In this case, become undeniable. Become so undeniable that the universe gives this person to you. So for example, imagine there is someone you want to date and you're too shy to ask him on a date, right? And right now you're telling yourself, oh, I wish I could do so. Well, become undeniable. Be so undeniable that that person has to say yes. Go tell them. Be like, hey, you know what? Over the weekend, I did the following fun things. I plan on doing the following fun things next weekend. It's exciting. You should come join. They'll say yes, right? Everyone wants to be around the winning team. And this is just one example of being undeniable, going and getting it, not waiting for nothing, but making it happen. Now you got the four swords and the four of wands. So there's a little bit of healing that has to get done. There's an energy block that has to get cleared, most likely a money block. When you clear this energy block and you heal from this, now there's going to be a big celebration on the way. And source is telling you right now, what you think about activates a vibration within you, which really means that your internal state is going to reflect on your external state. So your outer world is a complete reflection of your inner world. When you are feeling good, life is effortless. When you are not feeling good, it is effortless. I'll give you an example. When you are not feeling good when you're driving all of a sudden you'll hit traffic then you'll spill coffee on yourself then the light will turn red rather than green then all of a sudden as you get to work everyone's mean to you then you come home and cook some food and then the food burns right that is what happens your point of attraction would be negative but for example when you are feeling good when you internally are feeling excited grateful and thankful that energy right there everyone's kind to you people will hold the door open for you the elevator shows up on time the birds are chirping the weather is good everything is is going your way right this is nothing more than a simulation you can control this quantum physics has proven this so what does this mean right now practice internally cultivating a grateful internal state which will therefore reflect on your outer world and make your outer world very easy now you got the queen of cups and the nine of wands and right now source is telling you that there is energy that has to get cleared there is you're holding on to some energy of the past and clearing this energy is going to be like a sigh of relief and it's almost going to be like taking off a weighted vest and right now source is telling you that you are not being punished right like you are not being punished for anything in your life you are not being punished or blessed it is it, the universe is responding to how you're acting and i'll give you an example right now you're like oh man i've been waiting for a promotion that hasn't happened yet the universe has forgotten about me no universe is not forgotten the universe is responding to your energy if you feel like you are not getting something that means that the universe is going to respond to that it's like a mirror right when you smile it smiles when you frown it frowns but when you are when you are you know uh putting yourself in a position to feel as if you already have the promotion for example oh i already have it feels so great i've already done that moving on and then that is the mind state that you have now the universe will respond to that and give you the promotion you know what it's like it's like red light green light like for example like when you are 
you know how it works is like, imagine when you are thinking of something, it walks away from you. And then when you stop thinking of it, it walks towards you. It's simple as pie. It's really that. So right now, when you're thinking of, I don't have a promotion, it's walking away from you. The moment you're like, I'm done with this. All right, moving on. That's when it comes towards you. This is, it's, it's every single time. This is it, guys. So you just got to focus on that. Now you got the Knight of Cups and the Tower. There is going to be some sort of shocking thing that happens that's actually going to be a blessing and, rather than a curse. But at first it's going to seem scary and it's actually going to bring someone very special into your life. So it's actually the best thing that's going to happen to you. And right now Source is telling you that your point of attraction is where your attention is. So right now when this happens, don't look at it as if like, oh my goodness, I can't believe this happened to me. This is happening for you. It's where your point of attraction is, right? Your point of attraction is everything, right? Now focus on things being a blessing. Anything that's going to happen in your life is a test. Source is telling you and giving you the heads up. If there's something that's going to happen, it's going to seem like un uh, weird at first. For example, like you may get a flat tire. You're like, oh no. And then all of a sudden, someone pulls over and helps you change it. And it's that special somebody. Or you go to the coffee shop, you bump into someone, you spill coffee in yourself. Oh no. Next thing you know, you look up, it's Romeo. This is what's going to happen. So right now, when you are looking at things and from the perspective of everything is happening for me, you're allowing the universe to bring this person into your life. Now you have the Ace of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So right now, Source is telling you that you are meant to move into a new house or start a new job, some sort of new movement. But right now, you're holding on to an energy, the familiar energy of the past, and it's preventing you from moving forward. And you're pressing pause in a movie of life rather than pressing play. And right now, Source is telling you, in order for this to, to, to manifest for you, in order for you to get this new job or move into this new house, follow your bliss, follow your passion, then the doors will open up for you. And what does that mean? Follow your passion, right? Like, for example, my passion is to go for a walk. When I go for a walk, I know I am making more money. Why is that? When I'm going for a walk, I am going to find more love. When I go for a walk, I'm going to get more six-pack abs. Why is that? Because as I am going for a walk and I'm following my passion, I'm emitting an energy that I am attracting back. You are a magnet. So for example, if you don't want to go for a walk, don't go for a walk. Like don't try to force reality. You can only take possession of it. Maybe like your bliss, your passion is cooking food. Fantastic. Cook food, be present in the moment when you are following your passion. Maybe your passion is drinking coffee at coffee shops. Great, go do that. Maybe you want to go watch shows on Netflix, no problem. But don't be on your phone and thinking of, I wish I was doing something else. Instead, follow your passion. And by doing so, now your point of attraction is where it needs to be. Now you got the world card and the queen of wands. So your source is telling you that there was some sort of travel you were meant to go on and it can still happen, but really you have to say yes to this. And right now source is telling you that your feelings are the indicators of your alignment. And deep down inside your feelings are telling you that you need to get out of your environment. Maybe it's for the weekend. Maybe it's for a little bit longer. Maybe it's a dream vacation, but there's some sort of travel that will manifest for you. You're going to be gifted some tickets. So don't worry about how, who, what, when, where, why it's going to get taken care of. And right now you just got to understand that yes, you would admit that you would like to go on travel. You would like to get out of your environment. That is the first step. And that is going to free up a lot of energy. And Source is telling you by doing so, now your solutions will come because on this travel, you're going to find so many solutions to problems and those solutions only come when you're in a high vibration. When you're high vibration, your problems turn into possibilities and this travel will get you there. All right, Leo, we're going to tap into your affirmation of the day. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section. When everyone does it as a collective, it is extremely powerful. Soak in that vibration. Write down the following affirmation to clear any blocks. This is a money block. Write down being rich is my birthright. Being rich is my birthright. Just write that down. But you're doing this. Remember, soak up this vibration, this collective energy of wealth, abundance. Being rich is my birthright. Feel that energy and let the universe know that you are ready. All right, now I'm going to pull a final message from your spirit guides. Wow, look at this. Wow, look at this. Spirit has your back is the message, Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. Your angels are telling you that you are not alone. You have spirit, source, creator as your back. The person who created this dimension, this dimension, oh my goodness, you got to understand the third dimension is infinite. That is very hard for us humans to wrap our heads around the word infinite. It is endless, okay? Now, there are at least 11 different dimensions or this universe will collapse in on itself. Quantum physics has proven. So not only do you live in the third dimension that's infinite, there's 11 different dimensions. Just imagine what that means, right? The person who created all this is your best friend, is your 50-50 your, your partner, co-creator, loves you. This is a friendly universe. Spirit has your back. Never feel like you are alone because you're not. You have your angels, your guides, source, higher self, inner child, ethical ego, all the good team with you. They all love you. 
All right, Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.